I was doing a Python software developer working student job. Mm -hmm. So after coming here in Berlin, I was also continuing that job itself through remote working. Hello everyone. This is back to back third video with Akash. First two videos, we have already discussed about artificial intelligence, the university name, edu um, admission criteria, then data science, which university is based in Berlin specially, and the again, the admission criteria, education process, the fee structure. So if you are interested, you can directly uh, go to my description box and I have already shared the link over there. And now we will discuss about a uh, part-time job Akash doing right now um, 20 hour student job as a data analyst so Akash uh, I would like to know that yeah everywhere right now inflation but sometimes people say Germany especially students say in Germany there are no jobs at all and I told them that if you are if you have a sound knowledge about technical or if you know German very well or if you are physically fit then you will get a job so i would like to know about your experience because as a student and you're working as a data analyst is such a amazing things like you started your career is like a student career like a nice way especially in Berlin. so could you explain that how you find a job how many application you proceed and how many rejection get and then interview procedure please tell us in detail so how did i get this job mm -hmm. so to explain that I have to go behind two or three months because mm -hmm. when I was in Degendorf campus uh, there also I was doing a Python software developer working student job. Mm -hmm. So after coming here in Berlin I was also continuing that job itself through remote working. Uh, the experience letter from that employer was very crucial and convincing to my future employer mm -hmm. so yeah that mm -hmm. was the key part now coming to the main part how did i apply and yeah sorry to interrupt so could you please explain from the back like how you got the yeah. first job yeah so i think uh, that was the easiest way that i got and i was quite lucky mm -hmm. uh, in my student mail id i got a notification from the hr department of my college that uh, there is some partnered uh, company mm -hmm. looking for a student uh, job uh, in data analyst part uh, so i applied i i did not apply through my college what i did is a, as a trick i directly approached the ceo of that company so that the competition is less and he can uh, look into my profile in detail mm -hmm. uh, so i directly contacted him through linkedin and what um, that's the nice last thing you directly contacted him through linkedin yeah so <laughs> i i did not want to be part in the pool of competition mm -hmm. so after that um, he yeah, invited me for the interview in the campus and what i got to know that the data analyst position is not data analyst project is not currently available i have to work on the uh, special iot based module and I have to work on the Python backend thing for that specific module. Mm -hmm. So this is how I got this job. Okay. And after that you moved to Berlin and then? Yeah. And I, yeah, after moving on to Berlin, uh, I also worked in that previous company for six or for two months. Mm -hmm. But after that, my employer did not uh, want me to continue. Actually, he was looking for someone to come to his office regularly, mm -hmm. not through remote working. So after that, uh, I was com I was looking for another opportunity. Mm -hmm. I applied through LinkedIn, Indeed, Glassdoor, mainly three, and another website is join.com. That is also good. Uh, so yeah, I also applied to uh, other websites also. Um, I also got uh, many rejections, and still now I am also getting rejections. <laughs> Even I am working now. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that is how I started applying and. For that application, you have to have a uh, ATS friendly resume mm -hmm. for uh, for getting selected, and you have to mention the keywords that is mentioned in the job description. Uh, yeah, that could you please uh, tell us two things. First, you said about the ATS. What is ATS? And sometimes people asking that you have to edit your CV and write exactly what is written to the job description because it is like a system generated selection like it is not like a manual if people do that could you explain this so details? again i want to mention two things like i also don't think honestly that for every job description 
you will have time to edit your CV every time mm -hmm. because if you want to apply for you want to apply for as many applications uh, as you want to then I think you don't have that much of time to edit your CV mm -hmm. so what you need to do you need to make a standard CV that can be suitable for uh, as many applications that you are going to do mm -hmm. at first you have to select a uh, specific niche or specific branch or type of job that you are going to apply like you are interested in uh, data scientist in statistics or uh, data analyst or data engineering so you have to search on that what are the common skills that uh, the market are uh, demanding for so for that you have to make a standard CV and then you have to apply with that same CV what I did I just applied in a mass number of applications uh, with that same CV but you have to make that CV clean and clear mm -hmm. so that uh, actually in Germany HR promises you that sometimes I also get an email from that HR from many HR that uh, be sure that a person a real human being is going to read your CV mm -hmm. not a machine so if you want to think from that HR's point of view mm -hmm. you want to see a clean CV where these your skills your projects your academic experience your professional experience can be highlighted without a uh, without much effort so you want to make a clean CV okay Again, I want to mention it, is it necessary that your CV should be uh, in one page because someone have like 10 years experience, 7, 8, 10 years experience and they have a lot of job experience. So what do you recommend it for them? So there, yeah, it's a very good question. Uh, so first you have to think that which job you are going to apply. Mm -hmm. Depends on that. Okay. So suppose you have 10 years of experience and you have a lot to mention in your CV. Mm -hmm. And you are applying for a student mini job or working student 20 hours a week job, mm -hmm. then they will say you that you are overqualified and they will reject your application 60%. Really? Yeah, I have faced that and I actually got this advice from an Indian friend of mine. So, yeah, I also experienced that because I also had to, uh, I also had many academic and side projects in data science. And what I used to do, I used to mention all the projects and explain everything mm -hmm. in two pages. But what my, uh, what my senior said that uh, just make your CV one page and make it as concise as possible so that uh, you have something left to explain during the interview. Don't mention everything in the CV. So yeah, it's as it's advisable to make a one page CV mm -hmm. if you are going to apply for a student job. So they don't want you to uh, know everything, but they want your ability to learn. Got it. Uh, and for the APS, uh, there are some keywords uh, for if you are applying for good reputed companies like Siemens, Eon and big companies, KPMG, like that. They really have uh, like the companies that have many applicants mm -hmm. for a single job. Uh, I also personally think they use ATS for that to classify your resume mm -hmm. out of many applications. So what is ATS? ATS is basically a, a filtering tool that filters the resume based on the job description and the keywords. So it actually match the uh, number of keyword matching from your resume with the job description so it's it's a good if you can uh, to filter out the keywords from the job description and include that in your resume uh, most importantly uh, in the generative uh, generative AI era you can use chat GPT to filter out the keywords for ATS out of the job description you have to just copy the job description and paste it in chat GPT they will give it will give you the uh, the keyword and you can mention that keyword in your CV um, then I think it will be effective much okay. so I will share his uh, LinkedIn profile on my uh, screen you can see his LinkedIn profile name and if you need further query about uh, education especially artificial intelligence or data science and about student job uh, good student job I'm talking about so you can directly contact him 
If you have any further query about study, work or housing, you can directly comment to my comment section or you can follow me to my Instagram for more update or message me to my Instagram. And whenever I have a free time, I will definitely get back to you. And thank you so much who like and subscribe my channel. And those who didn't, please do that because your support motivates me to make more informative videos. And if you like this video, please support me to my channel. Thank you so much. Be safe and take care.